I will walk you through the functionality of advanced scientific calculator. Before we dive into the various functions, let me walk you through some of the basic functions that uh, you might need all the time. So if we type the number 12, if you want to erase it, this is how we can actually erase it. Secondly, if you want to clear everything on the screen, that is how we can clear. If you want to clear all the registers, you can clear that by pressing on SC. This calculator allows you to fix the decimal places. This calculator also allows you to carry out single variable statistical operations. So let me dive into the functionality. The functionality can be divided into six pieces. One is the modes, second is basic arithmetic calculations, third is probability, fourth is memory, fifth is trigonometry, and the final sixth and final one is statistics. So let's take a look at the modes. You can actually fix the significant places for scientific operation by say uh, typing a number and then saying fix. That's how we actually fix it. And then if you want to fix the number of decimal places and uh, then press the now number then say fix. This will actually fix the decimal places. You can actually switch off the fixing decimal places by doing this. You can move among degree to radian to grad for different um, trigonometric calculations. So this covers the basic modes. Now I'll move on to the basic uh, arithmetic calculations. Let's say 12 minus 3 that's 9 plus 3 is 12 times 2 24 divided by 6 so that becomes um, sorry say 12 say 21 uh, divided by 3 so that becomes 7 so these are the basic arithmetic operations and along with that we can actually uh, change the sign by clicking on that uh, by pressing on pi we can actually see pi on the screen you want to do any operation with that you can actually do that way so if this calculator allows the use of the order of operations say for example 2 plus 3 times 4 so that becomes 14 so in that case you really don't need to add the parentheses but if the operation requires parentheses you can set parentheses and the parentheses you can set up to any depth let's start with the parentheses say the 2 minus you can start parenthesis 3 minus 4 so that become first one second one so this is how the parenthesis operation actually works so now let us take a look at some of the mixed mode calculations say 12 and then say 2 then 3 this is a mixed mode and we can actually perform arithmetic operations of that so this is how if you want to simplify this is actually how you simplify and now let us move into a percentage calculation clear up all that so say 50 um, say we are going to find out 5 percentage of 50 so that's basically 2.5 so now let's take a look at the powers and the roots so say the pipe square then square root cube root sorry cube cube root this is how we find if you want to raise a, a different power say 5 say 5 so we are raising power of 4 so then this is what it becomes so now this number so this is basically nth root so we are able to do that now let's take a look at the probability operation so we have the basic random number generating capability so we are able to generate random numbers so now let's clear up all that say 4 say 10 um, n 4 so we are doing a combination so that is the number so now let us say 10 and we do 
and PR four, so that becomes pi per t. So now let us find out the factorial of two sixteen. You see that? Uh, let's. I just mentioned to. I forgot to mention one um, basic arithmetic operation. Say twelve. We want to do the inverse of that. This is how we can actually do it. So I'll talk to you about five memory operations. Say pipe memory that stays in memory, memory plus, memory read. Uh, say six memory minus. So memory read. So this is what we get. So we can also say six plus memory, and this is what we get. So the, and if you want to clear up the memory, you can actually do through MC. You can also use SC to clear up memory. So now let us start some of the doing some of the trigonometric operation. You can move from degree to radian to grade um, if you choose to use that unit. So let us say sine of thirty. So thirty we just sine. This is what we get. So now let us uh, find out the arc sine. So this is sorry sine inverse. This is what we get. Arc sine is basically um, the way we do that, say 30 sine, if you do that, that basically gives you the arc sine will be 30, say this is sorry, 30 sine, and then arc sine is 30, okay, inverse sine. So now let's do a hyperbolic operation. Say three point six hyperbolic sine, uh, hyperbolic, and then we do sine. This is what we get. Now we do a, a inverse hyperbolic. Say we already add that, and then that becomes three point six. So let us see um, thirty. Hyperbolic. This is what we get. So now let us do a coordinate conversion. Uh, the way we'll do that, say we have polar to rect rec polar to rectangular, rectangular to polar, and then this is basically switches between uh, the number. So let us see a coordinate r is two and. Uh, our um, degree is sixty. So we're doing a polar to rectangular. So this is the value of x and now if you click on this so that is the value of the y. So similarly let us say 1 um, then uh, 1.7 then that becomes the r if you click on this that tells you the degree. So uh, let's take a look at the sexagonal operation. This can actually convert between degree minute second, degree five minutes and six seconds. So if you want to do sine of that, this is what it is. So 0.5, let us change it to radian and then do sine 30. Let's uh, take a look at the logarithmic log operations. So 100. Uh, if you do a log base 10, that becomes 2. So now if you do a 90, um, it's a natural log of 90. Um, so this is what it is. And now 10 to the power x. So say 2, 10 to the power x. Then uh, e to the power x. Say 1, e to the power x. So this is what we get. And uh, let us look at uh, one more of, of these uh, operations which is the random number generation uh, so we'll, we'll look at it again this is how we do it if you want to round it say you fix the decimal point 0.5 say 5.123 sorry this is what we say we do round this is how it rounds it actually uh, let me uh, mention the Scientific operations, say 
5 so this is scientific operation plus 2 and this is what we see now clear up all that let's move on to a the statistical mode say so 2 if you want to add to registry 3 again we continue to add how many numbers are in the statistic 4 numbers then uh, this is basically average sum square sum x this is variance standard deviation so to clear the statistical register we can basically do this or we can do all clear with this i have covered the operation of advanced scientific inference calculator thank you very much